Nimkish Lake just at the bottom of the hill here. I've come to the campsite and I just wanted to show you as you come in the entrance this is what it looks like. Now this is the south end of Nimkish Lake and if you come right to your left and you're looking right across there there is a creek directly across the lake and in that creek across if you go up the creek a little bit there is an old building which is a cannery abandoned cannery there's quite a bit of history on this lake. And we're gonna keep going down this road here. And right at the end of this road is our the trailhead. So I'll see you back there in a minute. We're right at the end of this road and I'm gonna keep going. There is a sign on the outhouses that says no turn around. Because there isn't a great a lot of turnaround here. People still camp along this road here, and you can get right down to the water big beautiful lake here if anybody's interested but you don't want to take a huge RV down this part so there's a sign right here in the end and it is a trail I don't know what they call it but Nimkish trail uh, let's see what this is the sign they have Kinman Creek okay this is a Kinman Creek Windsor first hookup trail so we're gonna follow this trail and I'll snap some pictures along the way like I normally do, so enjoy! the end of this Kinman Trail here. Now this is a bit of a fork in the trail and if you go right it goes up to an old camping area and a parking lot. We're going to do that in a minute 
but I'm going to take you to the very end of this trail where it just goes to the lake. There's a lot of, um, I guess, driftwood here. And look at this. There's just amazing amounts of it. And this just goes out to a nice little area um, at the end of a creek called Kinman Creek. And you can camp, you can day hike, picnic, whatever you want. Um, this lake is quite famous for windsurfers here. I know there is a group that camp out here every year, a certain time of the year as well as the rest of the lake. So I'll show you here all the driftwood piled up between the trees. And then right here on the trail here, it opens up into a little camping area. nice you have some fresh water by the lake or the little creek here I'm sure you can probably fish in it there's a creek and that bridge that you cross over definitely is a Kinman bridge there before you turn so there you go I'm gonna I'll turn this back on and start snapping some pictures before I go up the other way there I've just come back up the hill from the campsite either way if you're sort of the first corner here so that's your first corner if you're coming down the hill okay now right here there's a little trail it's really tough to see unless you actually are walking up this uh, hill here so this is an area where there used to be a lot of um, houses this trail is a very special little spot at not a lot of people know about. So I'm going to share it with you. And years and years ago, the story goes, that I have been told is that there was a gentleman who used to work down here at Nimkish Lake, as it is an old a lake that they used for booming logs across. And it was a logging camp as well. So if you're looking in this area here down the trail, it's quite flat and there's remnants here of an old camp 
used to be here. You'd have to kind of walk around this area to see. But if you go down this trail, it doesn't go very far. Um, this gentleman had a wife that passed away. I'm not sure what the reason was, but if I can remember correctly, it was an illness. And um, he built this shrine for her. And it's one of the few I've ever seen for anybody. And it's a bit of a shrine or a monument, they call it. And I guess he, I've heard by rumor he's built like three of them. I'm not sure where the other two are. And this is a very special overgrown little place. That is a monument to his wife who had passed away. So, her name was Maria. Um, this is a little area that he hand built. So if you're looking here, I'm going to try and get this a bit smaller, but I can't. So on the top, it's got some shrubs growing in the very top of it, and it probably was flowers or trees at one point. So this is how old this is. It has some stairs that go around to the top. So come up here a little closer to see this. beautiful little bird. So we're just going to walk up these stairs. So many times I've talked about coming out here and just cleaning it up for him. I don't even know if the gentleman is still alive to this point, but as you can tell, it's just an area that he must have had some flowers and we could just walk around. And back down the other side. I don't know, I just wanted to share that with you. Just something to see. And come check it out. Take care. Bye-bye.